the bottom section. Yeah. Yeah. actually trying to build a movement to toward more into sustainable kind of like you know sustainable development like how the rural people or rural villages they can revitalize themselves into work more into sustainable development for example you know not building just about concrete building not just about building selfie spot for tourists not just about building what tourists like but again it's about preserving your own culture in order that you know the tourists will attract because of it. So I really, really love with this, this concept, connecting with the nature, connecting with the people, connecting with the culture, like something uh, work and some projects, and that's really, really impactful for other people. It's uh, giving a meaning of life. So we're not just aftering some benefit for our work, but when we can give it to other people to be more uh, empowering or developing, it makes something like uh, motivating us. So coming to Bali, we've been inspired by one of their local traditions or one of the local philosophies, which is Tri Ita Karana. So Tri Hita Karana connects three things, uh, human to human, human to nature, and also human to God or human to spirit. And what, uh, what, what has been quite inspiring for us about this, uh, this, this triangular effect or the triangle impact is quite connected to the values of the Green Gym. So this uh, three way is broken into three parts. One is about the head, uh, the body and the feet. That's also why the Balinese break these down. Uh, Sun gave us a new experience about a live in nature uh, kind of that. And then uh, for me, uh, it's not just uh, changing our uh, experience, it's also changing our culture with other people in here. Uh, we can also like make a new connection and then uh, bring up something new to our, uh, our life. In Sansan, where locals can uh, can actively interact with the tourists uh, through the trades or uh, the heritage that they have, instead of being uh, a product, it would be a process of exchange and learning. Well, in terms of ideas, they they have shown me the power of of the community. Um, we've had excellent service uh, all around. You know, from from the food that that we eat to the accommodations in the rooms to everything being ready for us um, and it, everything has been top-notch uh, from, uh, from a, a service standpoint so I think um, the thing that I've enjoyed the most is seeing how, uh, how, min how much we can do when we all just come together and really work towards something. And this is only the one part of the nature and uh, nature part I love, and also the food. As I mentioned, uh, although there are some flies and mosquitoes, but I, there are some, there are really some very, um, very good special traditional food that they really enjoy. That they have their own procedures and they have their own very unique and delicate uh, food, uh, food utensils. And also, there are something, not only me, but also my friends really like are some, some food of hidden. It's reminded me and taught me a lot of like how we can better market our local values, local, to, local traditions, and empower local agencies so that they don't need to depend on foreign investments. People say, oh, bamboo buildings, that's sustainability. Think more about it. I actually like some of the proposals in the workshop that they're saying using, using bamboo construction as a way of integrating the villages together or as a way of creating jobs for the villagers. I think that's very important. So I think people should be more creative and the young generation should think more on how to build a really good building 
out of combining the traditional aspect and modern aspect because as we know a lot of people are really interested in contemporary designs also so that's really